Hi, uh, my name's Rachel and I'm Ditsy Diamond Painter. Um, I thought I'd start my first ever video with a, a bit of a whip and chat, talk about what I'm working on and um, why I've decided to put myself on YouTube. Um, I'm working on uh, Josephine Wall Wisteria Moon off Diamond Painting Deutschland. That's how you pronounce it. Um, I've been working on it about two, just under two weeks now, and oh, the confetti is. But yeah, there's no. However, it's very enjoyable if you like confetti. I didn't realise I liked confetti until I started um, on this one. It is around, I can't remember what the size is. The size is 100 by 80 centimetres. And it's a present for my mum for when she comes to visit in August. But she'll probably see it on here, so <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm a mum of four, four boys. My oldest is. Uh, He's 23. He doesn't live at home anymore. Um, he's just finished his last year at uni and he's managed to get a job in um, Manchester where he did his university degree. I've got um, a 17 year old. Oh, and Joyce. And he's a ball of fun. Um, I've got a 14 year old and again teenager what can you say are all upon themselves and then I have a nine year old and he's surprisingly pleasant <laughs> that's all I can say I, he's he's generally just a nice person I'm sorry if I seem to be a bit slow talking and I'm just a bit nervous and trying to think what to say without being too detailed if that makes sense uh, um, I started diamond painting it was two years ago April um, uh, and it's been a lifeline for me to keep me sane and help me calm down and switch off from drama and chaos and mayhem and all those things and then it's just yeah I'm a, I'm, I'm a total addict everything's diamond painting related all I want to talk about is diamond painting which is why I've started the YouTube channel because no one in my house wants to listen to me <laughs> they don't understand what the what the point of it is they don't none of them none of them none of them none of them sometimes they'll pretend that they want to know what I'm doing and how long has it taken and then I find out they want something so <laughs> um, it's just somewhere to talk about um, where <clears throat> about something I love doing and other people wanting to hopefully listen and showing you I love unboxings and I love reviews 
done a little whipping chats and um, the, the only thing with me unboxing is I like to do it with people to show them what I've bought and because no one in the house is interested they're all still unboxed <laughs> So um, the plan is that even though some of them are quite old, um, is to do them as unboxings for you guys so that um, yeah, I just get to get all excited and bluster and smile and jump up and down on some of the paintings and also, I don't know if my first whip and chat really should have been doing a two hundred and forty colour drill um, painting because yeah, you need to kind of concentrate a bit to make sure that you don't miss any of the drills. However, I've been doing this, and there's not one colour that I've put down where I've not then put that colour away and then realised that the drill fairies come and pinch some off <laughs> pinch some back off the painting. So I've then got to get that colour out again. But so I've so I've I've learnt that to wait till I think I've done all the colours and then just go back over all the colours again. So the drill fairy doesn't come and keep pinching them. Because I'm positive there's a fairy that's doing it. Um, like I said, uh, it was a bit daunting at first, but I've really, I've really, really enjoyed, um, enjoyed doing this one to the point where I actually do it more than I normally would buy diamond paint because I just think, no, I just need to do this little bit more, I need to do this little bit more. Um, yeah, so she's been a, the drills are perfect on it. The um, even though it's double sided adhesive, this has been the best double sided adhesive that I've had. Um, I've got one little river in it, but I think that was caused by me, to be honest. It's not, but it seems to be quite flexible. It, it, doesn't you know it it seems a bit hardier than normal double sided adhesive so but yeah it's it's been a pleasure to work on so far um i will show you in another video um how i've kitted up um and my um my area in which i'm working on um i don't know how i'm going to do that because a bit of it's everywhere <laughs> i've got it i've got boxes up i've got tubs all around me in different shapes and or to get all the drills in but it, it's worked for me and i find it really easy to i know where a drill is um as soon as i see it on the on the canvas and I can know which side to look on I know which box to look in and um, that's really working for me um, yeah I'm hoping to do um, some whipping chats just so I can natter I sometimes think we forget to talk I'd rather listen to an audio book and ignore everyone else <laughs> um, some unboxings some of them are going to be semi unboxings where i've kind of unboxed them but i haven't i've just checked to see what's in them um uh, i've got some uh <sighs> completions that i've done that and i haven't actually i've got a treasure studio art one that i've not seen um anyone else on box or review so and she's beautiful um so i'm probably be doing her as well 
and then yeah and hopefully we'll just get I've just got to get to grips with how to do it and what to do and learn how to edit and learn how to darn and paint and talk at the same time because that's not something I tend to do I tend to put my audio book on or watch YouTube off my phone <laughs> and stay stay quiet and out the way um, yeah so it, it's going to be a learning curve so hopefully you can bear with me and um, yeah just see how things go and hopefully get some people as excited about diamond painting as I am because I can truly say I am an addict and um, I have to kind of do I'm on a no buy at the minute but I've got that many diamond paintings to unbox that is really not an issue if you're after unboxings I've just had I'm waiting for um, my craftably uh, pre-orders to come which I did pre-order in I want to say March or April when they first came in I ordered three paintings from there I have had one come um, and it's um, a partial unboxing that I've all because I've, I just wanted to look at the <laughs> um, the toolkit because I'd seen all the other room boxes. Thought I've got to have a look to see what what um, cover minder and what washi tape I've got, and um, I got a little overexcited and couldn't not not open. But I've got another three I'm waiting to come. Um, I've just had some Dreamer designs come. Um, I'm, I'm, wait, I'm waiting for a DIY moon shop. And that's my first ever order from DIY moon. And um, I don't know if I'll ever have the chance to order from them or... Maybe I won't even want to order from them once I get it. I don't know because they're, they're a bit steep in price. But it was my birthday a couple of months ago, so it's it was a birthday treat to myself. And um, I'd been looking at this artist's work for just see my thing right there. Uh, for a long time and I, I think I've even bought one off AliExpress before I was aware of copywriting which is a whole new thing for me to um, not so much with the main ones I buy from because they're all licensed but I do like trying other companies and sometimes so I've started looking at copyrighted images and and that's a whole other um, video there because I'm still trying to work out the best way because I'm positive I've got a diamond painting and for the life of me I can't find the artist for it but I could just it I just think it's an artist's work but I can't find <laughs> So, um, yeah, I don't, it's difficult sometimes, I think, with the copyright thing, because I've got so many that I used to buy before I was aware, before it became a big thing within the community about artists and how their images have been stolen. So even though I try very hard not to now, think I have got one so I won't be unboxing it on um, YouTube or anything like that because I just don't know whether it is or it isn't or 
Now, I've got some crafties and I've never had any from crafties before. So there's a couple of unboxings there. And hopefully there'll be a couple of um, final reviews as well because they're smaller so they're not going to take me a month to do a one painting. Um, I tend to only um, do um, one painting at, at a time. However, I'd started to um, eat on the night after I'd finished. I'd go in the living room and I'd think, oh, I'll just have that pack of biscuits or not one biscuit, it's got to be the pack. Or um, a packet of crisps. So I thought I'll do another diamond painting on, on like a lap tray in the living room. That's not worked. Um, I think I used to do all my, di all my paintings on a... Uh, lap tray until I got my desk um, and I think once you've been on a desk and then go back to the lap tray on the sofa I just couldn't get comfortable my back automatically went all kinds of shades of spasm and it just didn't work for me so it's a I will finish that piece because it's it's a snack size. It's a forty by fifty, and it's a star roll one, unicorn. Um, I know I'm saying um a lot, but yeah, until I get used to all this malarkey, it's uh, <laughs> it's going to be fun. So that's just a little bit about me and what I'm hoping to do with the channel. Um, I don't know what this video is going to look like because I think my hand was stuck in the way from half of it. I've just, again, something else I've got to find a different angle from. But I was just finding it hard to find where to put the tripod because I've got boxes of drills everywhere at the minute. So once I've found my place, then I'll be happy. So um, thank you for listening and watching. and. Hopefully I'll keep you posted on how far I'm getting with my painting and um, some, hopefully later on this week, some unboxings and a couple of reviews I might do on some diamond paintings I've just completed. Thank you, bye.